to Cooking 101 with Julia Childs. I am here today, since we are all stuck inside, to show you how to bake a cake for your mother or your wife. So, I've laid out the ingredients here, and we will prepare the cake as follows. Please follow along as I read the box as we go through this. First, we must preheat our oven to 350 in a shiny metal or glass pan. That is already being done over there. Okay, next. Apparently we open the box and then, well, I was going to read a bit more, but I've decided against it now. Oh, I'm indecisive. I will read the box a bit more, which we're going to add this bag, some eggs, and then beat vigorously for two minutes. I won't be needing that again. Now, I'm confident in my cooking abilities. More so than my ability to open this bag that is in front of me. My beautiful wife could probably do a better job than I could. But I struggle. That is why this is cooking 101 and not cooking 110. Oh good god, there's scissors. There are scissors in front of me as I... Cut open the scissors down and put the scissors down. Now we shall pour this in this bowl that is right in front of us. In goes the mix, still more to go in there. Oh, yes, it's in there. All the cake mix is in. Yes, and then you discard the bag however you feel best. Next, we pour in some water. Right there, we pour in this, this water into the bowl, like so, and then we put the glass measuring cup down very carefully. Next comes the oil. You need oil in a cake, or else Americans will not want to invade your cake. Very important to measure it out precisely with a measuring cup, like we have here. Right? There. Yes. Unscrew the lid, and then just very, very carefully pour it in. Oh, yes, yes, it's, we've got plenty of oil, yes, yes. Plenty of oil is what we've got now. And then we're gonna just put that down right there. That was a good location there. Now we've gotta do some egg work. We gotta crack three eggs into this bowl without making a mess all over yourself. And then discard the eggshells in that bowl with the oil lid. Very important. Very carefully. Very carefully. Look at this. Look at this so far. I have not made a mess upon myself overly. I am as surprised as you are, viewers. Voila. Next, we have a half cup of flour that we will use after we mix this. Ah, yes, this is, this, this is the tricky part because, yep, yep, it's, it's on, but nothing's working here. So, look at this, it's, we're going to pretend it is vigorously mixing. Yes, and we will take the spatula and then vigorously mix it some more to help the blender. Mix, mix, mix. Gotta mix that dough. Mix, mix, mix. That's all I know. 
And then, yes, wipe your, your hands off on your clothing. Because that is what I would do. Anyone who knows me knows that's exactly what I would do. Okay, this is vigorously mixed. So now we are going to take our frosting and move it to that side. We don't need that yet. But we do need this pan right here. This pan with flour in it. Which we're going to take this flour and uh, I don't know. We're just gonna, we're gonna probably dump it on the floor. <laughs> yep, that, that's what it looks like. But okay, we're just gonna set it down. And then we're gonna take this napkin and some butter. The butter, right here, the butter. And we're going to do what our children do whenever they need money. We're going to butter it up. Cause that's what we do. So we butter up the pan, like so, spread it around, generously, ta-da, that looks buttered. And then yes, just throw it down, and then we're going to put the, the uh, flour in the buttered pan, and swirl, swirl it around vigorously, and then cook, maybe, or uh, probably we're going to put the cake mix in the pan, which does not make me nervous at all. Yep, 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 there we go, it's up. Uh, yeah, this is not going to go poorly at all, not, not one bit, because that pan is precariously placed as I move my hip over to try to, oh, this is, this is, this is not good, viewer. Yep, there we go. There we go. That's, that's good. That's good right there. Okay, now, to save time in the baking process, I have already prepared a cake using the methods you have seen here demonstrated so professionally. So here's our cake. Now what is left is to icing it. The best part, the icing. As we put the cake down, and then we have our icing. And I'm realizing now, I did not bring a knife to icing this with. So, this will be interesting, viewer, as if we get the frosted open, which is undecided. Yes, there we've got it open, because we are professional. There we go. And we, as always, throw it around. Um, I think we might be looking for a spatula over here that we have used to vigorously mix our cake. It's in the, oh, no, yes, uh, we have a different spatula. Very important, multiple tools. In case you drop one, have backups. Okay, now we shall proceed to icing the cake. Just like this, as you can see, so far after 30 seconds of vigorous frosting, nothing is on the cake. It's a miracle, some would say. So, to sum up, this is how you make a cake for Mother's Day, for your mother, or your beautiful wife. Thank you for tuning in, viewers. Please join us next week as we learn how to ride an ostrich. Have a great day!